Apart from investment in LNG, the outlook for gas prices also dominating discussions at GasTech. Our Roland also spoke to Michael Stoppard, Chief Strategist at a Global Gas at a S&P Global. Mr Stoppard cautioned that with a tight market, any stress could trigger unusual sensitivity. Lower European gas consumption this year, yes. uh, storage facilities have been filling up a little bit faster. Is that likely to then stop prices from surging this winter in Europe? Uh, well, it's certainly a good thing that storage levels in Europe are, are close to, to maximum. A lot of traders are feeling a lot of reassurance about that. But I think it's really important to emphasize that we've never tested, uh, road tested this global gas system. We've never stress tested it. Um, so yes, storage is, is high, but is storage enough? That remains to be seen and it's going to be tested this winter. Okay, and Europeans themselves have been scrambling to build LNG import infrastructure because they're trying to find alternatives to the Russian pipelines. But this takes time, right? Is it working? It's, yes, it's been a remarkable success, or, success story, particularly in Germany, which has fast-tracked a number of regas terminals. And they're not alone. There are no, uh, a no, large number of countries that have done that. Um, but it's very important to remember that regas does not actually produce more gas supply. You're just in competition to fill that regas. Um, so, and we're waiting, as you said in your introduction, it's going to take three or four years before the new supply comes. So we're still in this tug of war for full supply between Europe and Asia. Okay, and then of course there's the potential strikes at Chevron's LNG plants in Australia. Uh, they supply to most of North Asia, so that's likely to prove very disruptive if it does happen. Uh, well, it would be very disruptive if we saw Australian LNG lost uh, for a significant amount of time because the system is, is stressed. And so markets will react with un unusual um, sensitivity to news items like that. Any kind of uh, disruption story, we're going to see an exaggerated reaction because we have this fundamental situation of a tight market.